Hi, Lake County. My name is Hannah Gehring, and I'm the communications manager for the Lake County Health Department and Community Health Center. And today we're going to be answering the top 10 questions that you've sent us about COVID-19. And I'll let my guest introduce herself. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Sana Ahmed. I'm the medical epidemiologist here at Lake County Health Department. And thank you for having me this afternoon. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, can you tell me the demographics of the people who have tested positive for COVID-19 in Lake County? More than half are men, and the majority of cases identify as white race and are aged less than 65 years old. We've also recently published a map on the Lake County webpage that provides an idea of where the confirmed cases are located throughout our county. And so we also hope to provide additional demographic information once that data is available from the state health department. Okay, great, thank you. Is it safe to touch everyday items uh, like clothing, money, mail, and products at the store? That's a good question. There is some evidence that the virus can live on objects for hours to days. And therefore, it is possible that you may be exposed through a contaminated object. So it is important to practice good hand hygiene while at the store or other locations, such as the gas station, where there might be frequently touched surfaces. If wipes are available at those locations, you know, feel free to wipe down the shopping cart hand rest and gas pump. And after leaving the store or the gas station, use alcohol-based hand rubs with at least 60% alcohol or wash your hands upon return to your home. Um, and then also consider wiping down any products that are brought, bought at stores before storing it away. Extra precautions in general will limit the spread of virus. What can I do about testing and treatment if I don't have a doctor or insurance? That's also actually a pretty good question um, to ask because um, for Lake County residents who are uninsured and are seeking health care uh, for flu-like symptoms, um, you can actually contact the Lake County Health Department at 847-377-8800. Again, it's 847-377-8800. And that's to set up an appointment um, with one of our federally qualified health centers or, um, you know, contacting the nearest immediate care, urgent care around your area if you don't have a doctor. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that testing is limited for COVID-19 and it's really will only be considered for high risk individuals, such as hospitalized patients not doing well or residents of nursing homes, long-term care facilities, um, potentially if you're a healthcare worker or part of a school system. Okay, so a common question that we're getting is, should I get tested and where can I get tested? Can you shed a little more light on that? Sure, so in regards to testing, as I mentioned, we're having a situation where we're having limited test kits across the nation. We don't recommend at this time the testing of people who have no symptoms or mild symptoms. If you have mild symptoms, presume that you have it and just stay home. We recommend that we reserve testing for those individuals that are high risk for complications, such as those who are hospitalized or those that are residents in nursing homes or long-term care facilities. Okay, and if someone is getting worse, and so this is to piggyback off that question, if they do really need to get tested, where do they go to do that? Um, so if, if the individual is um, having symptoms and they feel like they're worsening and they need to seek um, care from a doctor right away, they should go to the emergency room and get evaluated. Um, they can first call their healthcare provider to go over their symptoms and make sure um, you know, if they would be seen in their clinic or if they would recommend going to the ER. Um, and thereafter, if um, they are part of a congregate setting and there's concern that there might be spread, um, feel free to call the Lake County Health Department to uh, help facilitate getting tested at the appropriate location. So the testing then, the location of where you get tested should be arranged through your doctor. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Got it. Okay. Um, we've had a lot of questions about face masks. So people are wondering, can I use a homemade face mask? Is that an effective way to protect yourself from COVID-19? So first of all, we don't recommend the use of masks by the general public for prevention. 
masks should really be used and reserved for ill patients and for healthcare personnel who care for ill patients suspected to have COVID-19. Homemade masks are, may offer some protection, very limited, but surgical masks and N95 masks are more effective. Again, those masks in general should be reserved for ill patients and healthcare personnel who are on the front lines. Got it. Is there any treatment available for COVID-19? No, currently there is no treatment available for COVID-19. Okay, so if someone has COVID-19, what, um, what do they have to do in order to recover? Or, or how are they cared for? So if a person has COVID-19 and they're having minimal symptoms or mild symptoms, what we recommend is that they stay home. They stay home until they feel better and, they, that, and until they don't have a fever for at least three days. And that could be up to seven days. And um, if you um, were tested and you test positive, that is the guidance that we are providing. Now, if you don't get tested, you presume that you have the infection and you just stay home for about a week and make sure that you don't have fever for three days. Um, you should also practice what we call social distancing from family members. So when you're at home and you're isolating yourself and not going out, you should also kind of have your own bathroom, have your own bedroom, distance yourself from family members, um, try to avoid being in the same room with them so that they don't get exposed uh, more and that they can uh, be in their, so that they can avoid getting infected. Okay, great. Um, how can I know if I have COVID-19 if I'm not showing any symptoms? So COVID-19 is a disease. Um, and the way that it manifests is that there's fever, there's cough, and there's shortness of breath. The severity of symptoms, it varies from person to person. And people may not realize right away that they're having early symptoms of COVID-19. And that's what we're finding in when we interview our cases is that we really have to have them walk through of when they were starting to feel tired, when they were starting to have fatigue. It is safe to presume that we are all at risk for COVID-19. And so for that reason, it is very important to shelter in place, stay at home, and practice social distancing from extended family members, particularly the elderly and our friends, so that we limit the spread of the virus. Okay, how long does it take for those symptoms to appear? So symptoms of COVID-19 can appear two to 14 days after exposure, 14 being the longer um, range period. So if you're on the side of caution, we ask people who may have been exposed to a person to monitor themselves for 14 days. Okay. Can you provide any updates on how many tests are being administered in Lake County? So we don't have the data on how many tests have been administered in our county, but the state Health Department has reported that over 14,000 people in Illinois have been tested. Um, again, there is a limited amount of av available test kits across the country um, and in our county. The supplies to collect and process the tests are not being manufactured fast enough to meet the demand. So right now, unfortunately, there's no public uh, COVID-19 testing occurring in Lake County. Testing is being really limited to high-risk individuals by the various hospital care system. Got it. And then our last question, um, you know, we're all taking these steps to not shake hands and to, to keep our distance from one another. Can you get COVID-19 from someone who was just in the same room or if you do the elbow bump or you hugged them, um, can you get infected that way? So the virus that causes COVID-19 is spread from person to person. So someone who is actively sick with COVID-19 can spread the illness by sneezing, coughing, uh, talking around others. For this reason, you should really avoid shaking hands, hugging and kissing others. And to limit your chances of becoming ill, really try to keep that six foot distance between yourself and others. Again, in particular with elderly and those who have chronic conditions, because those are the individuals at highest risk for having some severe complications. And just a follow-up question with that. So if you are in a room where someone has been, but they're not currently in the room, are you at risk of getting infected um, because they were in the room and, and possibly ill? So COVID-19 is caused by a virus. It's part of the coronavirus family. And what is, uh, it is thought that the way that it spreads is through these small respiratory droplets when a person talks, sneezes, or coughs. 
it's not really considered airborne, so it's not in the air for a long period of time. So to answer your question, if a person um, was in a room but has left, um, there really is no risk for you at that, uh, at that location of getting it since the person has left that room. Got it. Well, thanks so much for answering our top 10 questions. We really appreciate your expertise on these things. And um, for anyone who's watching this, feel free to send your questions to us at COVID-19 at lakecountyil.gov. We'll take the top 10 questions each week and try to get you some answers. Thanks so much.